Good morning, everyone. This is Aizuddin Dayden of My Cigar Blog, coming to you from sunny Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's been a while since my last review, I must admit. Um, the real reason is just that I've been smoking a lot less. Not because I've stopped smoking or anything, it's just that I smoke a lot less nowadays. And I've been going through quite a bit of old stock. So in a way, I've been smoking less, but I've been smoking better. Uh, so more or less one or two sticks a week and you know sticks that I've reviewed before so it hasn't hasn't really been anything new to talk about uh, but I'm back today and uh, I'd just like to say a shout out to all my fans and friends on YouTube and those who come to the blog thank you very much for all the views and all the comments I really appreciate it um, this reviews for you guys all right today we've got the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure Especial it's a it's a cigar that I've been smoking quite a bit of lately, in fact. Um, this is probably my fourth or fifth stick that I've had in the last couple of months. So it's, the Hoyo brand has always been, has always been quite interesting for me. I really like the spiciness and the freshness of the, of the Hoyo. The Hoyo Epicure number two is a perpetual favorite of mine, which I always go to whenever I, I have an opportunity. Uh, but Especial is also pretty interesting. It's a Corona Gorda, slightly larger than a, than a Robusto. Um, this particular specimen is a little bit beat up because of abuse in my humidor. Uh, got stuck on uh, one of the wrappers of, a, of, a, of another cigar. But that's okay, a little bit of damage, no worries. It's still gonna smoke very well. Because of the humidor time, it's been in the humidor for about six months now. Because of the humidor time, it's taken on a bit of that cedary smell, a bit of cedary aroma from the humidor. It's, uh, it's nice and solid, not rock hard, but it goes well to the pinch. So I'm going to be smoking this today, and I'll share my thoughts with you. All right, uh, keep on watching. I'll be back in just a moment. I've just lit the cigar up. Mm. As you can see the draw is excellent. Quite a bit of smoke volume, just nice. Not not loose, not too firm, just nice. Very light, a lot of herbal notes. A bit nutty. But quite, quite airy. Very nice cigar to have, uh, to have during the day. Doesn't really have to follow a heavy meal in order to enjoy this one. All right, I'm gonna smoke this through a bit and then get back to you with some of my thoughts in just a moment. Be right back. Last half an hour, so I burned through the first third. Ash was nice and firm before I tapped it off. It's quite herbal. It's quite herbal. Quite light. Very easy, very easy smoking cigar. Quite a bit different from the Epicure number two. The it's uh, it's cousin. The Epicure number two can be quite strong. Can be quite nutty and certainly not as flowery as this, which tends to suggest the blend is quite a bit different. Not so much the Ligero in this one, I would say. You notice that the video quality on this video has been is quite different from the ones before. That's the re reason is because I'm using a camera now. Uh, Canon EOS 5D Mark II to do the re video recording with a 50mm lens. Very different from the from the video re reviews I did before using the camera off the MacBook Air. So uh, hope you guys are enjoying the better quality. Should we see get a better view of the cigar? Smoke volume is great. Draws maintain its composure. I can't really say anything bad about this cigar right now. It's it's a it's turning out to be quite a perfect daytime smoke. So if you're looking for something, you know, 
during the day, this might be your ticket. All right, I'm going to go through the last third and come back to you with my final thoughts. See you mid, guys. To the last third of the cigar, and uh, well, the power is kicking in a bit, but not much. You know, it's it's really not an evening after a heavy meal type of cigar. It's, mm. it's really a daytime smoke. Let's just, let's just put it at that. Uh, not really light, maybe a shade below medium body. You like to look at it that way. It's developed quite a bit of sweetness now, a bit of burnt caramel and honey. Um, the herbalness is still there, but perhaps not as much as it was in the first couple of drawers or in the first half of the cigar. There's one thing that, about the cigar that I really must say that it, it has quite a bit of balance. It's really balanced cigar. It's a really balanced cigar. It's not something that you're going to have to smoke and you know, put your thinking hat on and think about it in deep detail and peel off the layers upon layers of flavor. Not like a Beheke is, not like an Opus X perhaps. It's it's a great Hoyo. That's what the Hoyos are. The Hoyo de Monterey, all the cigars, all the sizes, all the Vitolas in the brand are easygoing, accessible cigars. And if the Epicure Especial is the pinnacle of that accessibility, it deserves that spot. I must say that it does taste a bit better after a few years of age. This is a 2009, well, it's my last stick from 2009, uh, from this particular bunch of sticks that I, that I picked up. But uh, I've had a few recent ones, 2011 productions, late 2011 productions, and they've been good, but really not as good as this. This is just quite refined. So give it a few years. If you have, I'll start looking around for boxes with a few years on them. They're not too hard to find. Um, they can be found. 2000, even if you're lucky, a 2008 original production, you might just get lucky and find one at your favorite retailer. All right, this is Aizun Dane from My Cigar Blog. I'll, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll try and do more reviews. Um, I do have a few bunch of new cigars in the humidor that I'll bring out within the next couple of weeks. Smoke well, long ashes. Thanks for watching. Mm. Perfect draw, wonderful cigar. Till next time, guys.